Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see agent threshold configuration. EG uses threshold computing technology to determine the problem on the infrastructure. Threshold are predefined according to the industrial standards for all the components. We can also modify the threshold according to your infrastructure. Agent threshold configuration option is available in the EG admin page. So we have to log into the EG monitoring console with the user profile who have access to the admin interface. So here I'm going to log in with the admin profile. Agent threshold configuration is available under the option alerts, threshold, default and specific. This is the threshold configuration page. Here first you have to select the type of component. Here I'm selecting windows. Below that you can find all the tests related to that particular component type. On the adjacent side of each test, you can find the default threshold and specific threshold. Default threshold is to make the changes globally. That is, the changes on the threshold will applicable across all the components of the same type. Changes on the default threshold will take effect after 24 hours only. Specific threshold is to make the changes on one particular component. Changes on the specific threshold will take effect after one hour only. Here for example, I am going to modify the threshold for Windows component system details test. So here you have to click on default threshold. Here you can see all the measures related to the particular test. For each test you can define minimum, maximum and alarm policy. You can also see the relative and absolute threshold for both minimum and maximum threshold. Let me first tell you the difference between absolute and relative threshold. Absolute threshold are time invariant and it is going to be more or less the same over the time frame. Relative threshold is time variant where the metrics are dynamic over the time. Each agent tracks the historical data and automatically determine the threshold of that specific measurement. Here, in this example, we are going to see the CPU usage for the process. The predefined threshold given here is 99, 97, 90. If the CPU usage violates the defined threshold, you will get the alerts. So, if the CPU utilization goes beyond 90, you will get the minor alert. If it goes beyond 97, you will get major alert. And if it is crosses 99, you will get a critical alert. Now, I am going to change the threshold to 80, 70, 60. If the CPU utilization goes beyond 60, you will get the minor alert. If it crosses 70, you will get the major alert and 80, you will get the critical alert. If you are going to set the threshold in maximum, it should be defined in descending order. Now let's see the free memory usage for this process. Here the absolute threshold is predefined as 10, 20, 30. So if the memory usage violates the threshold, you will get the alert that is if it crosses the threshold 10, you will get the critical alert and if it crosses 20, you will get the major alert and if it crosses 30, you will get the minor alert. If you are going to set the threshold in minimum, it should be in ascending order. Here you would have noticed the run queue length is defined as hyphen hyphen 3. So if you want only the minor alert not the critical and major you can give it as hyphen. Likewise you can define a threshold for particular alert or leave it as hyphen as per your requirement. If you don't want any alert for the measurement you can provide the threshold as none. Now also you would have noticed the alarm policy. Alarm policy is defined on basis of two parameters window size and number of crossings. Window size reflects the number of measurements collected by the agent and the number of crossing indicates the number of time the threshold has been violated. Now we can click on update. Now the threshold has been modified. Click on the threshold configuration for test to go back to the previous page. Now we see the specific threshold. As I said earlier, Specific threshold is to make the changes on one particular component. In this case, I am selecting system details test. Here you have to click on specific threshold. 
When I click on the specific threshold, you will get the page where you have to select the component name. Here the category is Windows. I am selecting the name of the component as Test Box. Ascending the threshold is same as what we saw on the default threshold, but we do have an additional feature on the specific threshold configuration that is Refine. Refine option is to define the threshold for any specific descriptor. When I click on the Refine, you can see the list of descriptors and you can modify the changes to the threshold only for the specific descriptor. Here I wish to modify the specific threshold only for the process 0, so I am clicking on modify here. Then you can apply the threshold and you can click on update. You can click on threshold configuration test to go back to the previous window. These are the steps you have to follow for agent threshold configuration. Thank you for your time. You have a great day.